Okay, so I'll read these problems in case you can't read them. In part A, it says copy polygon F, G, H, J, K. And that just means this shape right here. And they give us the letters just to help us follow the order, right? We have F to G to H to J to K. And then we close it as a polygon, right? And we want it to... We want to rotate this shape 180 degrees counterclockwise uh, about point K and then describe what's happening. So here's point K, right? And we want to rotate 180 degrees counterclockwise. So when we're looking at rotations, right, I'm going to pick one point at a time. So I'll start with point J. Where will that take me 180 degrees? Well, you can imagine that K is like the point you're pivoting around. So 180 degrees is a straight line. So that means what I can do to draw the image of J is to draw a straight line continuing here, right, but almost in the opposite direction and the same distance from K, right? So there we have J prime, let's call it, right? And notice what's interesting is that they're right across from each other and the distance from J to K and J prime to K are equal. And if I'm gonna measure the angle right here, this is 180 degrees. And if that's confusing you still, what I would do is then draw a circle with the center at K, going through J and J prime. And I draw these circles because it helps me keep track of the rotational path of each point. So J goes 180 degrees along this circle to reach J prime. K will stay where it is because it's the point we're rotating around, but point H will follow the same approach. If I draw a circle from the center to H, right, here, Right? I go 180 degrees along this circle, and I'll get, I'll get to the point H prime. Right? And where is that? Well, here's H straight across the circle about here. This is where H prime would be about, right? And you can tell the distance from H to K and H prime to K are equal. So we start to reform the shape, but on the other side and in the opposite direction. So J is right here, right? We're rotating around point K. H is up here, and you can see the shape is starting to form again on this side. And if we're, again, these circles help us keep track of what's happening, so I'm going to use it for point F. So point F now follows this circular path with the center of K 180 degrees. And I guess an easy way to, to track where that might be is draw a line from F through K and right, right to the other side of the circle. So from here, oops, wrong, oops, on the circle tool there. From F through K, going 180 degrees, a straight line all the way over here. So this is now our point F prime, right? And now, you can, I mean, I'll draw over the shape so you can see it clearly. We have one last right point to plot. That's point G. So I, I, one way to do this is to set up a circle from the center K to G, and then follow 180 degrees along that circle. But if that's overwhelming, just draw a straight line from G through K to the other side here. Because again, it were a rotation of 180 degrees will form that straight line. So it'll be over here, right? Use the right tool. And this is now G prime. Right? You can see the shape has kind of reformed itself on the other side. Let me just highlight this. We have this leg corresponds to this one. And this leg right here corresponds to this one and so forth. These correspond. So we get the shape is kind of repeated, right? It hasn't really changed shape or structure, but it's been turned upside down. So now, colored in so you really see it, it's over here, right? And I drew the circles just to help you keep track of what's happening and how these points are moving. But again, a quick way to, to understand what's happening is to draw a line. It's 180 degrees from, from one point through the rotational point and then an equal distance on the other side. Those distances are equal on both sides of these lines that we're drawing through the center, which is why they're forming these cool looking circles. And right, so that's just the first problem we can describe the, the flipping and the following of the circles because of the constant distance and all this stuff. Okay, so in this next problem, we're actually rotating about the point R, which is this point right here. And that's our point of rotation. And we're also rotating 180 degrees. So the first thing we're going to look at is the distance from K to R. Because I know as the shape rotates, that same distance has to appear here on the other side. And that helps you keep track of the shape. 
So that's point K prime. And again, we're looking at circles here because circles say, okay, imagine the set of the circles at R. Well, if I draw for, let's say, J, the circle that crosses through J with the center at R, I know where J prime has to be. And all I have to do to figure that out now is draw a line from J 180 degrees around the circle through R. And that gives me point J over here, right? Okay, so now I draw that. I'll use a different color because I can tell this is hard to see already. So here's K prime, and here is J prime. And we keep doing this, right? Now with the center at R, I draw a circle going through H. And that just helps me as a guideline. Here, I draw a line from H through the center R to the opposite side of the circle. And that gives me H prime, which I'll label right here. So we have K, J, and H prime. And we can connect them in order, you know, K to J and J to H. And we can always see the shape is forming just like it did before uh, in almost a flipped way, but on the other side. Okay, so we keep going. Draw a circle at R now, center at R again, through F. And then another circle at R through G. And just to finish up, I draw my lines through R, right, from F through R to the other side of the circle. Goes right here. That's where that point will be. So that'll be, oops, wrong color, F prime. And then we have G prime. So G goes from here right through the center of the circle all the way to the other side and that's where G prime will be 180 degrees across right the circle so we connect these and here we get a repeat of our shape a little bit harder to see because of all the colors I'm using sorry about that but here we can see the shape in many ways just been flipped about this new center R and if you're struggling drawing in those circles what I usually do is I draw these lines, like with H, for example. If I was to draw that line again, right, all I have to do is draw a straight line that goes through R, right, so draw a line from H to R, and then keep extending that line an equal distance to the other side. So instead of drawing these circles, you could just use a ruler and draw a line from each point through the center of rotation, and then double that length, right, to complete a line that goes across to the other side so that these two lengths are equal and R is the midpoint of those lines. That'll always give you right, a corresponding point. It's 180 degrees away right, for the rotation. Okay, so I hope this helped. Hope I didn't confuse you with these, these concentric circles that are looping in and out of each other. I mean, they're surrounding each other. All right, thanks.